Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times. It is a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, April 19th, 2023. So the battery light is flashing and I'm getting hungry. So a uh, little dog and I have to go get a piece of pizza here on, did I say it was Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. I just wanted to thank Terry Gross at, uh, at NPR. Uh, thank you, Terry Gross, for using the word made, you know, M-A-I-D, to, to describe a domestic servant. Uh, I don't even know what it was talking about, who she was talking to. I was just... Uh, while I was trying to get my Pandora connected today, there was uh, she was uh, interviewing somebody, and Terry Gross from those little limp dick lefty uh, radio over there at NPR, uh, not once but at least twice and maybe three times, used the perfectly legitimate word made. To describe a maid, uh, you know, thinking about that uh, interview on, you know, on soft white underbelly, uh, with, with all of those fucking rednecks calling me basically a limp dick lefty libtard, and then I used the word maid to uh, describe uh, these black women that helped raise me. I was raised uh, every bit as much and probably more by strong southern women who just happened to be black and they worked uh, for for my mother while she was going to school and work uh, that this series uh, of of women from the time I was born till I was about 13 and became a latchkey, a major part of my life what was being raised. Well, there's Julia May Roberts, there was Dorothy Lee Clark, I don't remember Joyce's last name, there was Emma, there was Catherine Ross, who was one hell of a boogie-woogie piano player. Uh, they taught me how to cook. Uh, th these were some very uh, strong Southern black women uh, who did as much to shape my worldview as anybody else uh, in, in my formative years. Uh, they called themselves maids. Uh, my mother, my, my liberal white mother, called them maids. Uh, and there is nothing wrong with the word maid. Uh, I, I, I used to date a motel maid uh, for a couple of years, I, but she was a white girl. So is it racist if the maid is black or maybe Mexican, as most of them are now, is it racist to call a Mexican or a black woman a maid, but not racist to call a honky woman a maid? You know, there's this company in Austin, Texas. I used to use them all the time uh, when I was a realtor and recommend them to my clients. Merry maids. M-E-R-R-Y, Mary Maids. They drove around in these little bright green VW bugs with a picture of a woman uh, with a mop in a bucket. Mary Maids. Uh, in Austin, they were probably Mexican. But anyway, uh, does anybody, any little fucking limp dick lefty uh, no doubt some honky uh, is thinking that the word maid uh, is racist. Fuck you. Let Terry Gross put maid uh, in, in, in a fucking sentence. Uh, you know, my maid's father 
uh, Dorothy Lee Clark's father, W.O. Clark, he was our gardener. Okay? Is it racist to call a, a, a black man who, uh, who mows your lawn and uh, rakes the leaves a, a, a gardener? A anyway, I just wanted to thank Terry Gross at NPR for setting this little political correctness uh, bullshit fucking uh, agenda straight. I can imagine the uh, the shit that Terry Gross is eating right now uh, about using a perfectly legitimate word, maid. And I want to thank all of the maids uh, who were such a big part of my my own childhood. Anyway, little dog, are you ready to go get a pizza? We are heading to the pie throwers. <sighs> Bye, guys.